1,500 people die every year waiting for a liver donation, according to the American Liver Foundation. Well, two weeks ago, an 11 month old girl from Peshtigo was almost one of them. As Andrea Hay tells us, a family member's selfless acts saved that little girl's life. A Peshtigo family scrambled to find an organ donor last month when their 11 month old baby, Peyton Walters, got a virus that quickly shut down her liver. With just days to live, her 27 year old cousin, Caitlin Locke, who was a match, made the snap decision to go under the knife to donate part of her own liver. It was a risky 10 hour operation that would leave her unable to work for about a month. They're like, you have a few more days if you need to think about it. And I said, there's nothing to think about. She is going to die. And I said, it's, it's not a question, it's yes. It's a big surgery, uh, particularly in individuals like uh, her, who's a tiny 10-month-old uh, uh, baby. So it's a very, uh, it's a major surgery. It's a high-risk procedure. The transplant was last week, and Dr. Johnny Hong already says both will make a full recovery. Peyton had a 100% chance of dying. She was not going to make it. And thanks to Katie that she survived. Clearly shows you um, the goodness in humankind. Locke says the attention she's received is surprising. She's using it to inspire others to pay it forward. This isn't really all that new to me. Um, I've been a consistent blood donor ever since I was 18, since you could start. Locke, who is a donor advocate, says if more people were willing to be tested to see if they're a match, the 15,000 people who die every year waiting for a liver transplant could be cut dramatically. The liver is quite an amazing organ where it just grows back. So it's not like, yes, I lost a part of it now, but it's growing back. Meanwhile, the Walters family is grateful. I'm very thankful for Katie. Very thankful. I know she doesn't think it's a big deal, but it was huge for us. Katie's our angel. <laughs> Reporting in Milwaukee, Andrea Hay, Action 2 News. Well, baby Peyton surgeon says she's not out of the mm -hmm. woods just yet. On Sunday night on Action 2 News, Andrea will have the full story of her illness and her road to recovery ahead. Best wishes for that family.